even leave your house. Why don't you all share Kashero Beijing Road? Yeah, Kishero. You don't get a doctor for two. Don't come on. I mean, i It's my singular honor and privilege to cherish forever to meet you this evening and to thank you most profoundly for the warm reception and the enthusiastic welcome that was accorded to my humble self and my team. We were received at the airport by the Honorable Ministry of Foreign Affairs, our own ambassador here in Beijing, and of course a minister of the Federal Republic of China. For Ambassador Baba Amin Jidda, there was one episode that happened way back in 2011, 2011. You know, I was just out of secondary school in 1983 when he was already a permanent secretary in the Borussia Civil Service, the highest peak that a technocrat could occupy in the system in my country. So in 2011, one of the most celebrated, he's now dead, one of the most celebrated intellectual cum technocrats in our system, the late Wadiri Ngurno. So they were calling him guru within the civil service system. They were calling Wadiri Ngurno guru. So he queried Wadiri Ngurno. By then he was the secretary to the Borno said, come on, and I was the governor. He said, if you are the guru, who am I? <laughs> so Wadiri Gurno said, you are an institution. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the name institution came to be associated with him. And we are mightily proud of him because he's the last of the great titans. People with the institutional knowledge, expertise, experience, and exposure. And experience is not something that you can buy in the marketplace. You have to add it. I've been an ambassador here for eight years, six years. He was our ambassador in Burkina Faso in the past. Twenty years ago. So he's a man of many parts. But most importantly, what inspires him? 
What gives me greater confidence is the fact that what binds us together surpasses whatever that divides us. Whatever our challenges, we are going to sort them out in the fullness of time. Here we have the ambassador of Niger. Here we have the ambassador of Mali. But what binds us together surpasses whatever minor differences that I believe in the fullness of time we are going to resolve our issues. The trajectory of global growth is facing Africa. And our leaders here and those at home will make or mar this transition. The whole of Europe is aging. The United States is aging. So also is USS Brazil, Russia, and even China. According to Corn Ferry, a global consultancy firm, by 2035, there will be 65 million global talent deficits in digital skills. And ours is a young country. The average age in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Sierra Leone, in Cote d'Ivoire, is nearly 19, 1920. So the future belongs to Africa. And the race assured that will vigorously champion the cause for Africa to occupy a front line position in all their infrastructural architecture for the world. But most importantly, what binds us together, as I say, surpasses whatever that divides us. Call out from globalization is impacting negatively on our terrain. Issues of climate change, desertification, deforestation, and the youth bondage. We have a lot of our youth that are unemployed. We have to create opportunities for the younger ones to step up on race in our cities and communities is absolutely essential. And honestly, in West Africa, we have a cost line that goes for nearly 3,000 kilometers, right from Mauritania down to our border with Kenya. Even blue economy alone can do a lot of things for us. We have arable land. We when properly harnessed, can provide jobs for our youth. I want to urge you to sustain this tempo, to sustain this momentum, and be your brother's keeper. It's very important that here, where you come from, hardly matters. I want to thank you most sincerely on behalf of our foreign minister, on behalf of our minister of transportation. There are certain things that are not for media consumption, but we are essentially one people. Let's unite. Thank you so much, and may God bless us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y